Whether it's managing stress, weight loss, or better sleep, you name it, people are being hypnotized for it. Not to mention it can be good for some laughs, too. Take a look. You know, one person's interpretation of hypnosis is... Keeps pinching my butt. It does. Him. What are you doing that for, dude? I don't know. You don't know? Well, it's one of you. Get over here. It's one of you. No, is it? Is it still? Keep happening. No, it's that guy now. That guy. Very interesting. <laughs> Professional hypnotist Richard Barker joins me today, and we're going to talk a little bit about how hypnosis is good for your mental and also for your physical well being. Yep, yeah, mentally and physically, yes. Okay, well, first off, before we get into the nitty gritty here, tell me a little bit about your background, how you came to become a hypnotist, okay. because this is fascinating. Uh, I was a police officer in the UK, and I was uh, a detective on a serious crime unit, and uh, I was um, learning how to use pattern behavior mm -hmm. and language to um, help clients or suspects sort of open up to uh, police officers. And it's called NLP, Neuro Linguistical Programming. And it worked all the time? Absolutely. It, okay. it was excellent. It, it's not getting people to sort of lie to you or, or say something they wouldn't ordinarily want to say. Sure. Just helping them open up. Okay, well, helping us open up, helping us to, to change the way our thought processes, the way we are physically, how can hypnosis work for that? Well, what's unique is, you know, everything you do and how you're programmed to be during a particular day all happens with the minute you have your first thought. Really? So, the moment you get out The moment you get out of bed. bed, yeah, and you don't know you're doing it because it's in your subconscious mind. So we teach our clients to... Um, you know, wake up feeling positive or wake up feeling thin or visualizing a better, your better self. And it translates into the rest of your day and naturally it just is a process that the mind believes and achieves. And you were watching the beginning of our broadcast when we were talking right. about the Kardashians <laughs> and how they were using those, yes. those corsets. What, what are your thoughts on I, that? I was tickled pink at that because really? I have to say it's just a placebo. Uh, it is a placebo. It could be a fashion item. It's not going to help you lose weight. But what will help you lose weight? Um, is if you believe yourself thin. So we say to people, in, you know, each day in every way, you're getting thinner and you get into your optimum size, whatever mm -hmm. it is to you. Putting on something like that is just a placebo that you're believing it's going to work. Uh -huh. Of course, when you take it off, you go, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> but if your thought processes are the weight of the mind is the weight of the body and you're actually flushing the toxins out of your body mentally uh -huh. and drinking water and doing the right things here and there, sure. you will naturally lose weight. And what about sleep? Sleep is the same. You know, if you actually steady and slow your mind down, uh -huh. you'll have a better night's sleep and rest. And we do help, you know, people with insomnia because all it is is we're conditioned to be nonstop. Our brain waves are nonstop, uh -huh. even in a sleep sense. And we teach you just to relax and be able to just visualize yourself feeling better about yourself and it actually happens fabulous <laughs> we could sit here and we could talk to you all day you could probably put us all in a trance here. Uh, yeah if you're not already in one right yeah that's true who knows i could be <laughs> he doesn't even remember where he's at right now. i don't know where i am yeah, so. <laughs> Richard, thank you so much for joining no us problem. today it's a pleasure.